The chickens and ducks will lay their eggs all over the place, so I have to fight off the crows and magpies that come to steal them. They're wary though, and you have to be quick to get a shot off. This one flew away before I could get lined up. I've set up the BSA Scorpion SE on beanbags, so it's pointing more or less in the right direction. I had to rearrange the furniture, but they provide a lovely steady rest, and I can make fine adjustments by sliding the rear bag back and forth along the stock for height. It didn't help that my phone rang just as the next magpie appeared. Eventually though, this one hung around just long enough. Suddenly there were magpies everywhere. They do get agitated when they see one of their own get shot. Sometimes you can get two or three more in the confusion, but none of these came down where I could get a safe shot. Meanwhile, there's all sorts coming to my bait point besides the magpies. At night, there's the mice. Then by day, I see lots of jays and the odd pigeon. Even the sparrowhawk stop by for a look at the blue tits on the peanuts. I thought I'd shot all the squirrels for miles around though, and then this chap turned up. Then, an hour later, there was another one. I'd hardly sat down again when a third one appeared. Got him too. Hang on, did you see what happened there? Don't watch the squirrel. Keep an eye on this spot here and this stick in the background. See that? The pellet went clean through the squirrel's head, hit a leaf and still broke that stick in two. So even when you do hit the quarry, your pellet can still pass through and have enough power left to do some damage. It just shows the importance of having a good backstop. <laughs>